All right, as you can see, and if you've watched other videos, you'll see that I like to number everything. They, they come numbered, and they come in order. So we're just gonna go ahead and follow. This one that. seems pretty straightforward, but we'll never underestimate any job. All right, we're gonna get going here and uh, get ready to make the first tack. All right, you guys, I'm sorry about the noise, but gotta run that generator. Run this welder. All right, this is piece number one. This is piece number two, or this is piece number two. Piece number three and piece number four. Obviously, they want us to go one, two, three, but we're gonna go one, two, four. Now, the way you line these up, set it right on top, and line it right up in the end. Got it lined up. Flush with this edge, flush down here. Now we're going to tack it in. Just a little tack on the back just so it doesn't pull on us. For the number four. Exactly a 90 degree angle, so we're going to get a flush it up with the edges.
really quick. We're like at 13 minutes right now. Things almost all tacked together. You're gonna want an extension. This first one down here, you don't need one, but looks like all the rest you do now. There are two bolts up here. One holds the skid plate, one holds the gas tank. Do not disconnect the gas tank. Okay, we're underneath the, the rear driver's side door. Okay, we're going, here's the gas tank. We're going to the front of the gas tank. What we have to do, just gotta bolt it in right there. I'm just gonna put them in the extension. Oh yeah, makes a lot more sense. saying to do after we put on this first piece is we're going to take three four teams we're just going to loosely uh, hand tighten these suckers right in place okay so in front of the tank number 12 we got that bracket in there loosely and the 14s we got one on the driver's side rail. We got one up here, rear driver's side of the fuel tank. Another one here on the passenger side of the fuel tank. And that is it. Okay, so I removed the taps. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave number 12 one piece up in the front. I'm going to leave that one in place. I'm going to take these. See, like, number 13 and 14. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and weld these guys together here. So these will be welded, and then I'll just put them in place. So, yeah. So all these guys here. I'm just going to weld these on. And then we'll bolt these in. It'll be easier to tap everything, I believe so. So we're going to try it like that. All right, here we go. Okay. Now, I did weld this one on, and I think that might be a mistake. Because I think the reason why they want you to tack it in place is because this might have to actually, like, come up a bit. Um, so we're going to find out. I did tack this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and go bolt these things back up where they're supposed to go. Hopefully we don't have to cut that off. But uh, that's what happens when you don't have detailed uh, instructions. Or when you when you skip a plan and you think you can outsmart the instructions. We're going to find out. All right, here we go. Okay. So the brackets don't even fit right. Yeah, don't attempt to tack anything on. You got to put them at different angles. 
and for whatever reason this side supports are too low i think they sent me the wrong stuff all i know is that everything else so far has gone together great i hope we don't have these problems when we put the rear bumper on front bumper front skid plate everything went on great everything fit perfect this thing yeah the first portion of it went together really quick but uh, i'm very disappointed with the brackets all right guys it's time to weld and I just stitched it around the outside and did the corners where it needs to strength the most. Like that. Now it's time for a primer and paint. off-road gas tank skid plate I can't believe the first half of it went together in like 13 minutes and then took two hours <laughs> to get everything else done but overall it's a very nice product I'm very happy with it Hey guys, how's it going? LJ, a little tired. Uh, it's really hot out here in the Central Valley. And I've been grinding, you know, for an hour. Yeah, the video looks like a few seconds, but about an hour of grinding and then polishing, making it look nice, blending everything on the outside. And uh, painting and uh, putting the coat on it. So, you know, hopefully you guys liked the video. Hopefully it was helpful. And uh, hopefully you won't make the same mistakes that I made. All right. Until next time, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Leave a comment.